good with it? It's your Ken Folk Dookie. Back again with Bang Budget and New Gear Reviews to help you get the best bang for your tech dollars. Today we're taking a look at the Durgod K320. This is a 10 keyless, minimalistic style gaming keyboard. That's kind of different than what's been popular here over the last year or so with the explosion of small 60% mechanical keyboards. Something like this. This is my Asini One keyboard, I love it. This is kind of like an alternative to an Amp Pro 2. These 60% minimalistic gaming keyboards have really blown up over the last year or so. And the Durgod K320 is something that's a little bit different. What we have here, like I said, we have a 10 keyless keyboard that comes with the extra function rows and these buttons over here on the side. You get your actual arrow keys, you get print screen, insert, delete, all of that stuff that you don't necessarily get dedicated buttons for on a smaller keyboard. Now, I have to be honest, with the explosion of all of those keyboards, I've actually been using this consistently since I got it for the last few months. And I said, you know what? Let me come here and talk to you guys about it. Now this thing out of the box is pretty solid. You get two actual cables. Now these are nothing like what you would want if you're looking for, you know, braided, nice cables. They're thick, <laughs> plastic rubber type cables. This one is USB-C to a USB-A and this one is USB-C to USB-C. So depending on what kind of ports you have on your computer, you should be good to go. You also get a standard keycap puller with a little bit of branding. To wrap it up, you get a sticker and this Velcro strap if you wanna tie your cables up. Now as we focus here on this keyboard, this actually comes with PBT double shot keycaps which are gonna be pretty good for long extended use. I've been using this for a couple months, like I've said, with very little wear and tear. Now I did get the white version with the gray caps, so you gotta think about how that's gonna show dirt over time. If you just use it continually without wiping it down, you may get some buildup on your most used keys, mainly like the WASD if you game a lot. Now with these being thick double shot caps, you really don't have to worry so much about them wearing away. Now they're the OEM profile, which for me, I really like. It's more of a standard keyboard layout and feel, something that you might be used to if you've typed on, you know, desktop keyboards for years. Now the version that I have here comes with Cherry MX Reds. They have really a wide option of styles from the whites to silvers, blacks, browns, whatever you may feel would be your preferred key. You have the ability to try it out on this keyboard here. I went with the reds. I actually really like that Cherry MX Red compared to some of the knockoff or Altimu Reds switches that I've used in the past, but we'll say that for later when we do an actual typing test. Now the build quality on this is super solid. It is built like a tank. You put this on your desk, it's not gonna move. On the back here, you got four rubber feet. You also have the ability to adjust the height right here. I actually leave mine down because I like that feeling, typing on it at that level. But if you want, you have two levels of height adjustment, so you have these small feet right here, you can push those in or bring out the large ones. Now, the reason that I've been using this board compared to some of my smaller 60% keyboards is that you do get these function keys, you get that dedicated arrow pad. It's something that I didn't think I would miss as much as having a dedicated delete key. Now on those smaller keyboards, you do have macros and key combinations that can get you the same type of functionality, but to just have it out of the box without having to remember to hit function and this and that, it does work pretty well. So I really appreciate having that extra bit of functionality back on my desktop, even though I am losing some of the added space that I get with a smaller keyboard. For editors, if you spend a lot of time editing or in productivity programs, this will definitely come in handy. If you're entering numbers and data sheets, things like that, it will definitely add to your workflow by having just those extra keys to work with it. It does come with the Durgot Zeus software so that you can come in here and really get to set this how you want to. 
You can set wild macros, all types of different key combinations and have different profiles so that depending on how you use your keyboard, you'll be good to go. Now, like I said, one of the things that this is missing is RGB. There's no backlighting here at all. So for me, I actually love RGB, but on my main setup, I've been going with a more minimalistic approach and pairing this with my Model D with that color set to white is just the type of style and design that I need on my desktop. So what's it like to use this on a daily basis? So the typing experience is pretty lovely. You can see, and we'll do a real typing test here in a little bit. Just typing up emails, working in documents, typing up scripts, things like that, is such a great feeling with this keyboard. Those mechanical cherry switches really have great actuation. I feel really accurate with my typing, and it's just overall a great experience. And just as a daily workhorse, this gets me through hours of gaming without thinking about it. I don't miss any of those things that you have with other advanced gaming keyboards. I don't miss any of the extra macro buttons or things like that. Even though you can set macros and different things in the software on this keyboard. Now I keep talking about these cherry reds. Let's go ahead and jump into that sound test. Now, let me jump in here real quick because I gotta say, this was honestly one of the best typing experiences I've had. From the sound test, you can hear that those Cherry MX Reds are really crisp and really had a nice feel. Not too loud, but definitely giving you that good actuation to really help with solid, accurate typing. And as far as the stabilizers, man, they were super crisp. Nothing pinged, rattled. Some of the best sounding stabs that I've heard on a keyboard up to date. Yeah, this is a really great option. So overall, man, this thing is a really, really great keyboard to use on your desktop. It comes in at about two pounds and it's not gonna move around on your desktop at all. Right now I'm not using any type of mouse pad, but on my main setup, I have an extended desk mat that this sits upon and it doesn't move at all with the added weight and those rubber feet. So you can really get into intense gaming sessions. <laughs> I don't know what you guys like to do, but however you like to move, you can do it well with this keyboard. And like I said, it does have all those added gaming features. You have anti-ghosting, in-key rollover, support for a variety of macros. So you can really go in here and customize to your heart's content. Now I gotta say at $99, which it is currently listed on Amazon, you can find this on Banggood as well. I'll leave links to both of them down below in the description. I gotta say, this is really a great option for like an entry level mechanical keyboard that can also double as an office keyboard. I have no problem taking this into your office. It doesn't have a lot of wild lights and weird fonts, which I gotta say, I love the fact that it does have a standard font. That actually adds to the double nature of using this as a standard office keyboard and being able to game on it as well. All right, folks, that wraps it up on the Durgod K320. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also, what keyboard are you running on your system at this present time? I'm gonna be checking out all the options, everything that you say down below. I'm gonna make sure to leave links to where you can pick this up and take a look at it. Also, if you want me to try out some other keyboards from Dirt God or other companies, please, please leave your boy a comment. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy. It's your kid, Fo Dookie. I'm gonna get up out of here.